cars. Oh my God, they love cars so much. That makes uh, sense. And so I was a mechanic and I worked on the Bugatti um, and uh, on Amy's, on Amy's car. And uh, that race car of his. I'm supposed to be working at the Indianapolis 500 uh, in a few days. Monday, Monday's the race. I'm supposed to be working there. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, today is. What about the Bugatti like, steering trouble? Bugatti what? steering trouble? No, he shouldn't have. Well, I left a few months ago. Well, that's how we uh, met this guy. What? He almost ran into us because his braking and his steering went out. Well, they must have a fool for a mechanic then. And did you examine it? Did you see if they've been tampered with or anything? That was too bad to even like. I could see his father trying to do something like that. The man's a monster. He looks like a monster. He acts worse than he looks. Well, we can take you there if you really want. See what you can do. Because I really don't know what to do at this point. He really wants you back, whatever reason. Joe Flynn. <laughs> well, yeah. You look trustworthy. I'm, I'm willing to go if, if, you, if, if Rodney was a good man. He was a really good man. He loved his sister so much. She loved him too. They, it was kind of all they had was each other in that house. They, that crazy old man. He was a monster, as I said. Mm. I'm willing to go back with you if you want. It's up to you. I got too much brogue there, but... Maybe you shouldn't. I really don't know what to do at this point. I do he just wanted you back. Maybe that'll help him. He seems sick. He's sick? Sick. He, um, he had... He was off his, his head after the war. Mm. And he still is. <laughs> Um, I'm not. I'm not sure what that doctor's doing, but he had signs of withdrawal from like a drug. Thing, thing uh, was treating him with morphine. Oh. He got addicted to morphine after, after the, during the war, after his crash, and uh, so Thing administers it to him at faster. Um, actually, Thing performing an abortion is probably super against the law too, guys. Keep that in mind. Uh, so he's a really uh, bad person. Yeah, he's a bitch, apparently. Ah. You'd always go talk to him. Can I ask him a random question? Yeah, you can say anything you want. Do you know who your father is? Ma would never tell me. She wouldn't tell us either. Some married man in Detroit who has money. That's all I know. He keeps her. He keeps her comfortable. Is it a married man in Detroit? I yeah. A rich married man in Detroit. Not rich, but he's wealthy enough. It's the lower upper. That's get from Joe Flynn. He's yeah. <laughs> but his taxi guy think of all this. <laughs> he's, yeah. He's pointing outside. Yeah, he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. There's Wall Street. <laughs> that, that. Oh, damn it. I'm going southern again. New York. He's like, yeah, over there is a, uh, that's a, uh, that's, there's the Statue of Liberty. See, that? ain't she pretty? Yeah. There she is. Here, let me take you around this way. I don't know a lot of New York, so he's, he's She's still bronze colored, too. Once you guys kind of pause in your conversation, he's like, yeah, there she is. There's the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, she probably is more bronze colored because she's newer. She's an 18... It's late good 18, enough, good late enough for a picture. Uh, you'd have to stop. You'd have to pull the cab over, but yeah. If, if you pull the cab over, you sure. got your tripod and everything with you, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure we're not being pursued at this point. Yeah, no. pictures. Sure. I'll do anything you want, 20. <laughs> That's a lot of money. You probably have this guy for the whole afternoon if you want. That's sweet. He yeah, looks like, smokes a cigarette while you guys stop. Uh, yeah. he, he smokes a cigarette while you guys stop on, like, down in the dock area or wherever near the statue. Close, this close to the statue. He's like, you can get a ferry over there too. Or you can get, actually get up in your head or something. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, you set up a tripod. And take, uh, how many pictures do you want to take? Um, three pictures. Okay, so give me rolls for each one. Crit fail. Crit fail? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, lens cap was on that first one. <laughs> <laughs> I got one good one. You got one good one. Okay. And you won't know that until you actually sit down. Wait. Oh, my It's like, why is it so Is that lens cap supposed to be on? No, it probably wasn't a lens cap, but there's... It, it, when Someone you, walked in. When you took the picture, you moved the camera oh, up. My just photo bomb. wrecked it. You were just like, that probably no, you guys are pretty abandoned in the area. Well, not abandoned, but Single there's not a lot of people line. around right now. So, But you're in a busyish area, but not where there's people. So, uh, yeah, he's willing to drive you guys around and take you wherever you want to go. Um, take you back to your hotel. Uh, Joe Flynn is willing to tell you where he lives now so he can get his meager possessions. 
mean, I can't. He doesn't have a whole lot of money or items. But so, uh, uh, it's a flop. He's in a crappy little flop house near the garage. Um, and he packs up pretty quickly. Uh, he takes everything. I might give him a 20 just so he doesn't tell anybody about us, and that way he's in for all this trouble, too. Who, the cabbie? No. Oh, Flynn? Yeah. Oh. Eh, we won't tell anybody. You know what, you can keep your money, lady. Okay. Um, he seems, yeah, he seems like lost in thought quite a bit now that you've brought all this stuff up again. Um. What you think about? Amy. Yeah. yeah. That's what he tells you. Um. So is the cabbie still with us? Yeah, you'll have the cabbie. For a couple hours for 20 bucks. Um, everybody can make me a spot hidden while he's in his room packing. Yep. You two made it? There yes, is I a. I did too. Three, <laughs> three, 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 I was looking at the window. <laughs> the way people live, it's so sad. <laughs> You're like, ah. Um, Just walk <laughs> It's so funny. Okay, so you notice a, a newspaper clipping. Sitting on on a, on, a, on a table. <laughs> it's it's uh, I didn't it's a newspaper. about no you didn't. It's about um, uh, Rupert Putney actually his recent withdrawal from the upcoming Indianapolis 500. Um, Excuse me. You two um, notice another newspaper that looks like a Providence paper. Oh. Uh, well no, yeah it would be it would be a Providence paper, and it is uh, well thumbed. It's folded to a report of Amy's funeral. In the society column, and there is uh, while he's busy packing, he doesn't know you got you get you get most of you guys doing any of this. While he's busy, he's busy packing, uh, a letter falls out of the newspaper. You are you are always wrong headed. You know what? I'm gonna read this real quick. Maybe. <laughs> so the cab is out front right now, waiting for us. There. Right? Yeah, he'll wait for you guys. There's a reason I keep asking, and it'll come. So I've already seen this clipping of the funeral or whatever. What? I've already seen this for my research. Yes, you probably have. Uh, it's about Amy's funeral a couple months ago, how she died of peritonitis. Um, What's peritonitis? Brought on, it's like an inflammation of the abdominal area. Okay. Brought on by allegedly appendicitis. Huh. Allegedly. Uh, it seems to be, but it, but it sounds like from what he has said, she had her abortion around that time. Yeah. So it could be connected. All the complications. You can read it out loud if you want, but you don't. This is a personal letter. <laughs> well, I read the background. I thought that was from Amy. Yeah, that's that's for Amy, but it was apparently never posted. So the stones are like valuable, I assume. That, that stones, you would guess, are money. diamonds, maybe. Yeah. He probably stole something from the house. What about potatoes? Uh, make me yeah. an own language roll. I gotta find it. Oh, seven. Seven. Critical success. Yeah, where the hell is it? Maybe. Investigators. There's a tiny dog right here running around. It was worse <laughs> What? Get your, your dog. Oh. Uh, There's like a tiny dog right running around. Yeah, she hisses. I worries me. But I think it's more just, um... Shit, where's... Here we go. Um... <laughs> copyright, copyright. <laughs> Can't get copyright. Oh, did you know that Happy Birthday is now public domain? It is. Oh, that's nice. Finally. As of about a year ago. Uh, potatoes is slang for money. So, potatoes and... <laughs> I said potatoes and rocks. Rocks, yeah. Somebody did, so... Okay, anyway. Okay. So, he's read the letter, and that's when he finishes packing out. Um, Tuck. Tucking back where it was, yeah. Yeah. He didn't notice. Okay. Uh, like I said, he seems to be... You guys have probably brought up some things that he's been thinking about for years. Or for the last, probably, a couple, two or three months. And it's all coming to head now, so. Anyway, what's the call? What do you guys want to do? You're in New York. My kind of oh, well, let's get drunk. I'm um, not going to tell Ronnie yeah, about, I mean, we've heard about this, but I'm going to say we need the train tickets back. Okay, um, yeah, 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 you can do that. Um, for five. That's 
That doesn't seem a secret. I'm not going to tell him anything, but I need five tickets. That's <laughs> 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 yeah, really nice candy. Okay, yeah, what do you want to tell him? What do you want to tell him? Um, just buy a whole... Or you can somehow convince him to give you extra money that will cover up that ticket without telling him. Mm. Or I could probably just do that myself, honestly. Also, we're coming back, so it assumes that we found something. Okay, maybe I won't call him. How much does it cost to get five tickets to uh, Providence? Back to Providence from New York City. Probably about 40 50 Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. About $40. I, could, $50 probably, a I can do that by myself since he gave me that 100 route. So I'm using that anyway. Oh, that's right. He gave me the extra 100 for fixing your car. Yeah. Um, that would be four. You can do another 50 What? There's five of you. Are yeah. you paying for one ticket. Just one ticket or all five tickets? Actually, all five. That's what oh, I'm saying. Oh, do you have enough money? Do you have 250 bucks? No, I don't. That's I say, just get the asking. four. No, just yeah. get the four tickets from him, and then use your money to buy the fifth. Well, the okay. Oh, yeah, you could go that route too. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. But we're still asking. Well, I guess if you say, I don't think he's asking too many questions. No, he's just like, is there anything? Uh, is there anything happening? Yeah, if we're coming back, it's already late. We'll explain when we get there. Just I'd tell say, me what you say when you get on the phone with him. Okay, I'll be like. I need four tickets back to Providence. Okay, ring, ring, wait, yes. ring, ring. Okay. It rings for a long time. Oh. Uh, and then Rupert picks up. Hey, hello? Hi. Hello? Who? Yes? Okay, um. Who's this? Miss Dotton. Dotton? 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 Dotton. Who's Dotton? Oh, shit. <laughs> I... Wait, are you with the show? No. Oh, oh. The show's great. I'm really enjoying the show. Um. What, what do you need? Who are you? What? Um, he seems a little confused. Um, you, I, <laughs> I'm like, guess we're buying our own tickets. Um, I might even need, I might not even need to, if he doesn't even remember what the hell Why don't you just tell me what you're saying to him? Okay. Right now you got him on the line. And I'm like, I, you, you had a job for the four of us? A job, it's a job. To find your uh, brother? Well, you know, Father Sick is a dog. Chloe, Chloe won't stop drinking. We just sit around and watch the show. We wait. It comes every night. Uh, you should come over and see it. Have you, once you found my... You're looking for my brother. My brother, right? You're looking for my brother? That's what we were talking about. Yes, yes. Come see the show. It's the show. It's amazing. Uh, what show is this? It's every night. Just what come show? by. Come by what tonight. Show? Tomorrow night? How about the next night? We would love to, but we need... <laughs> What show are you talking about? Uh, uh, make me persuade check. Just to get him to respond to you. No. No. Okay. Just come by as soon as you get here. With tonight, tomorrow night, the night that you come, just come by. I'm not looking at you because we're on the phone. Yeah. Just come by for the and the sh and yeah, exactly. No, like, Chloe's gonna. Okay, he's, gonna <laughs> he's obviously not in his right mind. I don't even okay. think he remembers why we're out here. He's talking about some show. I don't know what show this is. I guess. Did CME you. help you? Huh? Help him? What do you think CME would help him? He seemed competent in the last couple of days that we talked to him. This time he just doesn't seem right. At least maybe you can help us convince him that he needs to get help yeah, other than yeah, Dr. Thane. I'll, I'll definitely come. Um, so what was he talking about? You said the show? A show. He wanted us to see the show. The show that's was on he talking about night. the Indianapolis 500? Every, every night? night? The show's on no, every night. I, it oh. seems as confused as you guys about this. Uh, Chloe won't stop drinking. Uh, well, I'm going to Joe, have you seen you Chloe as well? Uh, Okay. So what do you guys want to do? Do you have the money to get home? I, yeah. I can pay I for my own ticket. Yeah, I can pay for my own. Joe doesn't have any cash. He's yeah. like third poor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do <laughs> something. <laughs> you got plenty of cash on hand? Oh, yeah. Okay. Adler's like, oh, I'll do it. So how much is a ticket for each? It's like about 50 bucks each. Okay. Are you just going to pay 250 Adler? Take it out and hope to get it back? What, two? No, he, he's expecting money line. back from Rockefeller. There's five people who no. cost a total of two hundred fifty dollars yeah, for we're five for tickets. Own. Oh, that's no, he's paying for mine and uh, yeah, then hundred bucks. Yeah. We'll pay for yes. you and Flynn. Okay. And you should be able to get home by um, late tomorrow afternoon, actually. 
And um, the caddy, Mike Dusky. I'm going to oh, slip yeah. him an extra 20, and in case anyone ever asks, you were never there. Like, he never helped us. Who was never there? <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of like... <laughs> you call me next time you're in town. I need someone driving around. Gotcha. <laughs> all right, 20. <laughs> you're just 20. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, he'll drive you down to this train station where you can get your tickets. And um, again, it'll be kind of an overnight thing. Um, it's the only way to travel. So he made 40 bucks yeah. off of us. 40 bucks <laughs> for like three or four hours of work is pretty fucking good month wages. Yeah. So he's going to He's off. probably going to the speakeasy tonight. Um, you guys take <laughs> the train. Um, not. <laughs> no one does. Money talks, man. You can buy a lot. And 20 more bucks since we were never here. Wednesday was Detroit. Thursday was New York. So Friday, Friday, May 27th. This is, what year was this again? 1927. Friday, May 27th, you guys will be coming back to Union Station. You're back in Providence. Feels good to be home. It's only been a couple of days, but you guys have done a lot of traveling. Uh, what do you want to do? Get somebody to take me to my place. You could. You could go and or freshen up at your house. Place. Is you probably I mean, have the nicest. I, no, I. Haven't I haven't figured out where you live yet. Except that it's yeah. probably a nice, pretty nice apartment with the, the wages that you make. I you have, have like a two bedroom apartment. You have a nice apartment for for what your your societal level. You'd be able to get a nice apartment. Yours is a little smaller than his, probably, but it's still nice. It's the second floor of this house. Um, and Ashton, I have no idea about you. You have yeah. an apartment that's what, what's your how much do you make per year? Twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred? That's pretty good actually. What, what does it say you are? Are you middle class? Lower middle. I'm in Lower middle. middle. So you you would you what? I make more than her. Yeah, that's why you have a two bedroom apartment. Oh. You'd be able to find have a small apartment in a not awful neighborhood, basically somewhere here in Providence. Um, maybe downtown. You want to be downtown, like above a store? I would. I, was say, I think I have the best place. Um, I think he probably has the best place. Oh, you're middle class. How much do you make a year, Daniel? Thirty five hundred. Yeah, you probably have slightly better house. Oh, you have a house. A, a slightly better apartment than Daniel. He decided you wanted an apartment too. So, but you don't have to tell. Whoever has more room. Maybe you don't want these people at your house. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mind. You have a two bedroom apartment. I don't mind holding them up for a night. I mean. Obviously, I guess the guys would be in one room, the girls would be in the other. I thought about making them go to my place. Wait, are like, we staying overnight? Should we go find? Should we? Go? Is, didn't you say you sounded awful? Yeah, I don't know if I want to take you around, Mister Old Man. Oh hell, man! Mm-hmm. You don't care. Hello, I stood up with him when I was seeing his daughter. We're, we're first time the show is at night, so. What time is it? Late afternoon, probably around dinner time. I'd say let's eat just to be safe. Yeah, you could. Yeah, kind of, kind of a rest, diner. Rest, stop at a rest diner for about an hour or so. Do you want to stop at a diner, or do you want to um, eat at somebody's place, or what? Diner. Yeah, there's tons of diners in Providence. You can find a nice diner, um, have a good meal. Um, as it starts getting a little bit later in the day, um, and then <coughs> you you have a car in town if you want oh, to take sorry. it, or you guys could hail a cab and take the cab. And I guess we can go to my place and get my car. Yep, you could take the trolley down to. Uh, Upper South Providence, where she lives, pick up her car. Everybody can load into the uh, Model T. Um, sort of comfortably <laughs> in the back. A little tight in the back. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> Flynn uh, on the drive there. Flynn leans forward and he goes, "That, that knock. Uh, yeah, you might miss me something about that." <laughs> <laughs> Your engine's kind of. Every once in a while, there's a click or something that they obviously notice. I can help you with if you need it. I was gonna say maybe I could get you to help me. Later. Um, you drive to the Putney house, uh, late afternoon slash early evening, it's probably around 7 o'clock, it's going to be dark soon. Um, uh, another car pulls up with a big Cadillac behind you as you pull in, like around the circle here. You uh-huh. pull around the circle and probably stop your car. Um, uh, a big Cadillac pulls up, um, you, spied, you saw it before when you were here at the house, it was there when you left. It, it wasn't there when you first got there. And you see, uh, you see your old buddy. Where the hell did he go? What, Thane? Where'd Dr. Thane go? Right here. Yeah, your old buddy Dr. Thane gets out with his medical bag. It is about that time, apparently. Let me get out my um, You notice that there are <laughs> tire tracks. You're getting out of your medical bag? Yeah. You notice there's tire tracks crisscrossing the lawn, um, around and around the soiled white gravel, in and out of the orchard that's over here, that's back away from behind the garage. Um, uh, the the Chevrolet is 
half in and half out of the garage. Um, you don't see anybody around. Like, um, yeah, before when you were here, you could hear like somebody was working in the garage, like on a car, probably the wreck of Bugatti. Um, but you don't see or hear anybody around. Um, I want to stop there. Okay, you can. He's just getting out of his car. He closes the door. Perfect. Doctor, can I can we speak with you for a moment? If you must. What kind of services do you provide for the old man? Whatever he needs. What would that entail? Everything that he needs. You're asking me to break doctor-patient confidentiality at this point, sir. But uh, if he asks for it, it is done. As simple as that. The rich have their needs. He you wouldn't know about so that. Well. Said the old man. He had a stroke. He's lucky to be alive. What about? What do you do? Yeah. I pulled him over I to all of us. I said he had withdrawals. What are you giving? Him? <clears throat> Again, you're asking me to divulge doctor-patient confidentiality, Miss... It doesn't matter. <laughs> right, it doesn't. <laughs> now, if you have another wish for me, I'll be on my way. And he starts to turn and walk away. Um, <laughs> well, you do have... You know, you're a legal abortion. You might not... A gun might not be a good idea, but... Hey, how about we let this? You could. Do we have documents on that? Then we don't have. We only have the word of if one. You, destroy, you could still destroy his reputation by spreading that kind of a rumor around. I mean, wreck it. Let's do it. Well, I mean, you could threat, what I'm saying is, you could threaten him with something like that if you guys really want that. to get this information out. So, mm -hmm. and all of you know this. Flynn told you. Flynn's just like glaring at the man, and he did notice Flynn was with you before you started talking to It'd him. It'd be a shame if we let, if so, the uh, press were to find out about a certain illegal act he performed. On some woman that lived here long ago before she died. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think I do. I think you do. What do you want? What are you doing? What are you doing to Rupert? Why is he in such a bad condition? Who's putting you up to Rupert, this? Rupert has been a morphine addict since the war. I visit every afternoon to administer the drug in order that he may keep his addiction under control. I do what I am asked to do. By the rich have their needs. By Rupert. Himself or his father? Both. Mm. Yeah, he stares you down. <laughs> <laughs> You've cowed him a little. He's giving you information, but he still has this, like, arrogance about him. Huh. You can keep You can ask him. You can ask him, too. Yeah, you, you, both, you two are both there, well, all, They're all there in a group. He knows you guys are together. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure what you want to ask. <laughs> go ahead. Do you say anything to him? No. Just no? Oh. <laughs> That's fine. I'm more interested in the car, actually. I want um, to... The Chevrolet? The, no, the Bugatti that was, like, messed up. Uh, you don't see the Bugatti. It might be in the garage, though, the garage doors, except for the one that's closed with um, with the Chevrolet that's half in and half out. The other two garage doors are closed. They might have been, have been tucked into the garage. He turns away from you guys and starts walking towards the house. If you guys don't say anything else, he's just going on in. So, okay, that's fine. I yeah. just want to make sure you have the chance if you want to say things to him. I've got the morphine stuff, and I've got that both of them are, and I'm like, hmm, this old man. Yeah, you don't have proof, but you're right. It could wreck his reputation if you did spread that one out. Uh, what do you guys want to do? You're standing outside, um, out here, by your, by your, by the, uh, by your Model T, and it's in front of the Cadillac. Um, I think we should spread the room. Doctor Thing, well, you're not here right this moment, so think about that for a little. Yeah, I'm just like. Doctor Thing walks up and goes into the house. The servant, or he, yeah, he just goes in the house. Uh, what do y'all want to do? I like her idea about checking the car. Okay, you're heading over to the garage. Is everybody there? Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, it looks like. Um, you see, um... We have a mechanic with us, he can get up Flynn, Flynn looks kind of sad when he sees the car, actually. <clears throat> Not his name, his car. The Cadillac? No. The, the Chevrolet. Chevrolet, sorry. Yeah, she loved that car. They all love their cars. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's that, that green Chevrolet. You guys can all make spot hiddens if you want. Flynn's not going to. He seems to be kind of, like, upset about seeing the car. Yeah, 14. 14? Did you make it, too? 
Uh, you guys notice the Chevy looks fine. There are some. There's a lot of little small scratches around the um, around the steering wheel and the dashboard. Um, you can see when you get there, the Bugatti is in the garage. Um, you can uh, take a look at it if you want a closer look. Uh, yes, I have asked him to take a look. Not him, but. Flint? Flint, to take a look. Yeah, he's just with you. He's kind of looking at the Chevy. Do you want to just look over the car and see what you see? Look over. Oh, look over the car, like, is there anything. What What car? The, Amy's car? Yes. Uh, does it look like anything might have been tampered with? Uh, he's, he does a quick look over. He gets underneath and checks like the fluids and stuff like that. And he says, no, she looks fine. Looks like he's been run a lot lately. But somebody's keeping her up. What about the Bugatti? Oh, uh, did you want to go look or did you ask him to go look? I want to. Oh, yeah, he'll go over and take a look at it. He goes, oh, let's see. This will require mechanical repair. Hey, better. <laughs> Yeah, he made it with a 79. He still made it. This guy is a freaking whiz with the, with the car. Uh, nah, she's not roadworthy. The uh, motor looks great, but the crankshaft is missing. She's gone. Uh, he kind of looks around, the, like, just glances around the garage. Right? She doesn't actually go looking for it, but he says, he, I don't see it. Can't run without the crankshaft. Was there uh, a third car? There was the race car, but it's not here. Uh, this one's not here. Yeah, it might have been taken to Indianapolis, and then... Rupert dropped out. You Am I the that, only one that noticed that, that article? Yeah, you're the only one that noticed that article. And it was obviously Flynn knows because he must have picked it up and kept it. It looked like Rupert dropped out the day before. Um, I mentioned it. Found if he it. dropped out of the race, why would his car why wouldn't his car be here then? Oh, he would have sent it on ahead. They might not have gotten it back yet. Um, would the crankshaft mess with its steering? No, no, no. That's how the car's powered. The uh, crankshaft takes the power from the engine and takes it to the, to the wheels. All right. Um, why would it not? Like, why would the steering lock up then? Oh, it shouldn't. Yeah, hold on. He checks the. And he goes. All right. Well, here's why. Because these. Uh, it looks like this has been repaired. This is fresh. This is fresh. Uh, There's a fresh steering line and actually a fresh brake line too. Somebody's replaced the uh, the brake and the steering lines recently. In the last few days, I would guess. Why? What happened? How far would it be to damage that or... All you have to do is snip it, and uh, when the fluids come out, uh, your your steering's not going to work, and your brakes are gone. Because as I told you, mm, how long has it been? Accident. You said accident. Yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. It was... He said his brakes and his steering were gone? Well, that's not an accident. That wouldn't just happen all at once. Unless this new mechanic, whoever he is... Uh, is an idiot. They wouldn't have replaced the flow unless they knew about it. Well, if it went out, they would have somebody would have checked it, and if they found a hole in it or if it was cut, hey, it couldn't have been old man Putney. He can't even get out of his damn chair. Yes. Chloe. Yeah, I suppose. All right. I wouldn't put it past him. I don't know if she'd do that. Don't think a dog have a reason to. Because he did say he does what he is told. Mm -hmm. He might not know enough about cars, though. But he said it's just a simple cut, so I can just show him. Yeah, but you gotta know what to cut. I don't know if Thane knows anything about cars yet. I just don't know. Bastard. Something's wrong here. I don't like it. Something is. What do you want to do? Probably yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can go inside and. Yeah, you guys well, can head into the house. Friend. Yeah. Yeah, he seems to brace himself when you say that as you guys all head for the house. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, you knock, knock, knock. Uh, Rupert actually answers the door. It's not like a butler or anything. Um, he greets you with hysterical and glassy-eyed brightness. He seems to be in a great mood. Must have just had his dose of um, Might have. It doesn't seem like a drug-induced hysteria. It seems like more than that. Um, Flynn, um, Flynn, uh, steps forward and he, he just, just looks at Flynn and he's just like, and he goes, Flynn, 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 um, and Flynn walks forward and just kind of takes his hand and says, I hear you've been in a bad way, Rupert, he goes, I'm better now, I'm definitely better now, 
and he, you know, you see tears kind of welling up in his in Rupert's eyes, and you see Flynn is kind of getting a little choked up as well. Um, everybody can get one d three sanity from this this reunion of two men who have had their differences in our situation. Three. Three. Yeah. The, the triangle, right? No, no, no. That's a d six divided by two and round up. <laughs> I was like, eh. <laughs> we gain a sanity. Yes, this is a sanity game. This three. is like a. Uh, Beautiful moment. Yeah, it's a beautiful moment. These two men have had their differences in the past, and um, maybe Rupert blamed Flynn for Amy's death. Who knows? But they're putting it aside um, as old friends. <laughs> um, Rupert invites you, and he's like, "Well, well it, it, uh, it actually seems to calm him a little bit um, when he sees Flynn as well." And he's like, "Well, come in, come in." Uh, the front room is a mess. That main hall. Um, there is some broken stuff in there. Uh, some stuff has been moved like out in there. There's some trunks and some suitcases that are just sitting there. One is open and there's just clothing kind of scattered around. Um, oh, it's okay. dirty. It's dusty. It doesn't look like anybody's cleaned up in this place for several days at least. I like it, Rupert. What happened? Oh, no, 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 it's fine. Come on, come, come in. Uh, I'll, we'll go to the drawing room. They're all in the drawing room. Who's they? They, you know. Father, them. Come on, come on, come on. Um, um. Uh, you, there's a, well, there, uh, you get to the drawing room, it's marginally more habitable. Um, there's room to move around with the furniture. Trays of half-eaten food are plentiful, uh, as are empty bottles. A lot of empty liquor bottles. Um, Putney sits, uh, old man Putney sits huddled in his wheelchair. He seems to be brooding. doesn't seem to be suffering as so much as just like... Chloe is sprawled on the divan beside him, resolutely passed out. Um... He says, you've got, you've got to come watch the show. Come. What show? The is show, the show, the camera, the show, the show. Um, he kind of gestures you, brings you into the drawing room, just closes the door, he doesn't lock or anything. Um, Quinn, uh, Flynn also looks completely confused. He's like, the show, my good man, the show. Um, to, you know, to Adler. Um, tonight, it's, it's when it gets dark. We, we, we always gather in, in the drawing room. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to wait and see. Be out there. No, <laughs> this, but I'm getting closer to my gun. Yeah, you put your hand in your pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got that. Um, he like, doesn't have like a crazy. I'm gonna strangle you. Craziness going, but it's like an excitement of a small child. I like know, you can't it's contain freaking himself. me out. So okay. I'm like, oh. Um, it's starting to gather. It get there's a gathering dust. Doctor Thane is in the room. Um, he looks around disapprovingly at all of you, and uh, at at <laughs> Flynn. <laughs> what did you? What was that? You no. Know, <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't put the man off. He could ruin you. Keep that in mind, too. He could ruin me? Yeah. Me? Yeah. You're a nurse. He's a doctor. He could find a way to wreck your career. And or I'll find a way to wreck else. his. True. Um, he flops himself down in one of the, the big cushy chairs and just kind of sulks is what Dr. Thing is doing. Rupert's, he was getting ready to leave. Rupert's like, no, no, you must stay for the show, Dr. Thing. Stay for the show. It's so exciting. It's so amazing. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see her. I can't does, Thane, see. does Thane seem to know what it is, though? Thane, no. He seems in, a, in the dark. He usually leaves But doesn't he come... Oh. You kind of get that, you might get that impression that he comes, he administers, and this is the first time he's heard about the show as well. Or if it was said to him, he just was like, yes, you're crazy, you're fucking rich, so you're obviously insane, but, you know, I work for you, so I do whatever needs to be done. Um, <laughs> I've worked for myself. Okay, so it's just getting dark. When um, I have my hand on my gun too. You guys hear? Um, yeah, you can have your hand in your pocket on your gun. Um, Flynn just looks around nervously and kind of once in a glares at Doctor Thane or the old man. He kind of looks like he feels sorry for Chloe. He's just like just dead out on her back. Um, She's gross. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely need to flash at this point because the fire it's still hot as shit in here the fire's still in the, there's, the fire's dying in the fireplace um, it, is, it is rather dark in the house there's only like one you look around all the lamps are gone that were in here before and you guys came in here before it was like brightly daylight it was beautiful there's one lamp on one table um, that's lit but someone has thrown like a red cloth over it so it's giving this eeriness to the room but it's easy to see out the windows because it's kind of like this red light that doesn't interfere with in, or make any reflection. And I'm going to leave a cliffhanger here while I feed my dog and pee. Bum, bum, bum.